welcome to my channel. For those who don't know me, my name is Sophie Charlotte and I'm the founder of my eco lingerie label Sancerre. And for those who do know me and who already followed me here, I am very sorry that I haven't given you any update in a very long time. I had a very good reason for that, which is, let me show you, a little baby that is growing right now in my belly. We are, of course, very happy about that. If you have watched my first videos, you may know that one of the reasons to found Sancerre was also to create lingerie with any endocrine disruptors, and that was especially important to me when I started my IVF journey. So uh, we had a quite complicated way until getting here. That's also the reason why I took some time off to rest, to just take care of myself and hope for the best. So the first trimester was a little bit complicated, but now I'm feeling better and I'm back to work, which is really good because there's actually a lot of work to do because, yay, I will participate in my very first pop-up store in less than three weeks now, so uh, happening quite fast. And there is a lot of things that I need to prepare for that. And I thought it would be really fun to document the whole process for you of how I prepare for the pop-up store and yeah, put it on my YouTube channel. So that's uh, what I'm going to do. I actually should have had this video online several days ago already because I already took a whole lot of footage and then unfortunately my external hard drive broke and I lost all my data. And yes, I am feeling really stupid right now uh, because I didn't have any backup of it. Don't do it like me, have always a backup of your data. It's lost, but I will just show and tell you uh, what I did. And then from next week on, uh, you can watch me prepare everything that still needs to be done. So I will share the space with three other designers that are making jewelry and hats, everything handmade with love in Paris, of course. And the first thing was to have a look at the space, of course, with them and then see how we could share the space. And that was actually quite stressful, I must say, because it was not that easy to find a common ground immediately as the others are making smaller pieces, of course, of jewelry and hats, smaller than my clothes. There was one of the designers who was a bit afraid that I would take too much space. Actually, not literally, I think, but she was afraid that I may attract more attention of people or yeah, something like that. So that was not uh, simple to manage, but in the end we actually agreed on uh, her having a whole space for herself. And then I will share another one with one of the other designers because actually, there are two of us who will be there for two whole weeks from April 11th to April 24th and then uh, two other designers uh, which will each one be there for only one week. So uh, let me show you a short video of the space so you have a better idea for that. When you enter the store there's a first space with really beautiful old medicine cabinets. Those are not really suited for exhibiting lingerie so we decided that the hat designer would exhibit in that space and then uh, there's another one, which is really white and bright. That's the one that I will share with another jewelry designer. And there's already some furniture in the store, but unfortunately it's not really suited for displaying clothes. So uh, one of the first things that I personally had to think about, besides, of course, what to bring in terms of products, was how to display my products and what I need to get for that and to bring in terms of furniture. So let me show you what I got so far. So first of all, I decided that I definitely need to get a clothing rack, which is this one. And this may not be like the most design option. I would have loved to have something more aesthetic, more beautiful, but it is really very practical because it's uh, completely foldable. And so it's very easy to transport. And that's a very important thing when you participate in pop-up stores, at least uh, I think so. But I went for a more design option regarding the hanger. So I got uh, two different kinds and a very nice copper-like color. And I will use these for my pyjama tops and shorts, for some robes that I'm making uh, from my baby dolls. So that will be 
on this rack on the hangers and then I was looking for another solution for how to display my bras and my knickers. I felt really lucky to find these two mannequins that I can hang on the wall in the store where I can display bras and knickers on and really show how they will look on a body. They were originally white um, which is not great because I have a lot of white lingerie. My very nice kind husband spray painted them for me because of course I'm not doing that right now because of my pregnancy. I don't want to uh, risk to inhale like the vapors of the paint. So very very lucky to have this uh, lovely husband who is helping me out. I'm very grateful for him. I feel like on the camera the yellow here is a bit too yellow and the red a bit too red. The colors are actually less um, saturated. But yeah, otherwise that's how they look and I'm happy with it. And then of course I also have this big mannequin that I will probably put in the window. It'll be either this one or another big mannequin with a wooden foot and a white cover. I think I will just bring both and then see what uh, fits best when I'm there because I can't decide right now. And um, I will probably have a baby doll on there and then another designer asked me if she could add some jewelry pieces to that and I think that's really a great idea. So that's what we're going to do. In front of these mannequins, I forgot to tell you, uh, they will be on a wall and in front of them I will put some small tables that are already in the store, uh, just very white clean small tables and have probably some baskets on them and then that's where people will find the bras and the knickers that I can purchase. So that's all that I got for displaying the clothes uh, for now. What is still missing is everything regarding decoration because I think it's also very important to have decorative elements to create like nice atmosphere. Uh, I want to have something a bit cozy, homely. I still need to find things for that. I only got this mirror here that I want to put on a wall. But that's all for now. I may look out for some macrame decoration, maybe a macrame dream catcher even, even though I'm not sure if a dream catcher idea is too esoteric or not. I guess I will just have to check out some and see if it fits or not. Anyway, that's something I need to look out for, stuff to put on the wall. I also want to bring some dried flowers because I know that uh, one of the other jewelry designers also liked the idea of dried flower decoration. And as I will be selling candles that I make myself with dried flowers that will work really well. And I also would like to have a carpet because I think it's really cool when you step on the carpet, when you can feel it, it really brings you immediately into like a new space, into a new ambience. And I think that's really cool to have. But I thought that I would be able to use an old carpet of mine that was originally white, had some stains on it, but that I wanted to dye, or I actually tried to dye it in my bathtub, but I wanted to use eco-friendly dyes, natural materials, so I used coffee and turmeric and I completely forgot that the carpet was made from synthetic fibers. So that didn't work because it didn't really stick to it. It actually just got a little bit of taint from turmeric, but that was like completely orange and not like the beige brown orange tone that I had imagined and was really ugly. So I will have to buy a carpet. I think I will buy a carpet at Ikea that I saw that is made from 100% cotton and very lightweight, which is cool because then it's easy to transport. Usually I wouldn't want to buy a new product from Ikea because even though they have good designs and I know that they make a lot of efforts regarding more sustainable materials, the whole concept is still a bit like a fast fashion brand for furniture or like a fast furniture brand. So I would rather buy a second hand if I can, but I didn't find any second hand carpet in my region that would fit. So I think I will go for that. And then another thing uh, we had to think about was how to be able to put our brand logos or like information like opening hours and everything on the windows. I didn't want to have like these stickers made for that because that's a product that you just use once and throw it away and it's made from plastic and everything. Also expensive, not great. But then I found another solution. I got these markers here. Uh, chalk markers with different kind of tips so we can make like very small delicate drawings and then also more uh, yeah like heavy letter writing and these are from a brand that's called uh, Molotov 
that I didn't know before, but I really like them because uh, it's the only brand that I found that also offers like a refill for the markers because I don't think that this small marker will last very long. And yeah, if I had chosen any other brand, I would have had to buy like lots of lots of lots of markers, which means each time there's like more plastic being used and yeah. Well, anyway, it's it, this one is refillable. It's really cool. So got that. And then that's everything regarding how to set up the space that I have thought about until now. Uh, probably other things will pop up in my mind during the next two weeks, but um, yeah, uh, we come to that later. And then, of course, I thought about what products to bring. There will be the products that are already available in my shop, like my triangle bralette, the matching knickers, the pyjama sets, and so on. But I also started making new products that I want to present exclusively at the pop-up store, or at least first at the pop-up store, and then maybe I will also have them on my website later. And I made these robes. That's how they look like. They are made from a striped satin cotton fabric on one side. I don't know if you can see the stripes, but um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit shiny, very nice. And then on the other side, it's a really, really super soft cotton velvet. Both fabrics are organic, of course. And then they feature also these very cute lace details on the sleeves. And this is very special to me because this is vintage dead stock lace that I actually also used for my wedding dress. I had some left, so I thought I would add them here on the sleeves and that it looked cute and I think it turned out really well. So I would wear it like this, but there are no visible seams on the inside. So that means if you want to, it's completely reversible and you could wear it the other way around. And then I made a small belt for it also if people want to close it. I like to wear it open but uh, anyway like that people have the choice and yeah I'm very happy how they turned out. I just made three of them because they are quite expensive to make. They uh, take a lot of fabric and as it's eco-friendly, natural, organic fabric. It's uh, quite expensive. I will, of course, as everything else, also offer all my products on demand. So I think if people will be interested in that, I have two to sell and then maybe I will just uh, keep one until the end that people can try and then if they want it, they can order it and I make it on demand. Uh, that's what I thought. And... Then I also designed a new bra, which is a bra that is a bit more full coverage than the triangle bralette that I made, and that gives a little bit more support. I think the triangle bralette works really well and already gives you support, but I thought that maybe people with a little bit bigger breasts or also just people who are very used to wear traditional bras with padding and boning and everything would maybe need something with more support for a transition to more eco-friendly uh, underwear. So made a new style and I already have a prototype made uh, which works well. So my next week will be all about the bra production. <laughs> And as I am pregnant and gained uh, quite some weight, I will also profit myself from these uh, bras for a little bit bigger breasts. I mean, I don't have that big breasts, but still they grew a bit <laughs> through my pregnancy. That's that. And then I will also make some new candles, which will be scented candles. So I think that's all for today. I'm very sorry that you weren't able to watch me work actually, that will be different in the next episodes because, well, I just lost all my footage for the first, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to support me and if you don't want to miss out on any further episode. I hope to see you soon again. Bye!